Hey everybody, how's it going? It's The Daily Shooter, and today I just want to make a quick video and give you guys my recommendations for optics under $100. This channel is proud to be supported by the Firearms Policy Coalition. Make sure you check that link down in the description box, become a member, and join other fellow like-minded patriots in fighting for our rights. Now, try and keep in mind that when you're talking about budget optics, you're typically talking about two different categories of optic. You have the really inexpensive stuff in category one that typically comes in around 50 bucks or less. And then you have category two, which is what we're gonna focus on today, that comes in at about 80 to $100. Now, I think that in category one, and I'm just speaking generally, the optics that come in at under 50 bucks are just not worth your money. If you can save, even if you're on a budget, if you could save just a little bit more, I think you could get a lot more value and a lot more quality. Uh, with the cheaper optics, what happens is, is a Chinese company will make these for like 25 bucks. They'll stamp a company name on it and they'll send it out to a dozen different companies who will sell it under their brand. These companies come and go. Um, so don't expect good customer service. Don't expect that your warranty is going to hold up. And I am just kind of speaking in general terms. It might not be the case for everybody, but in general terms, that's usually what you're going to get with these really cheap optics. So again, that's why we're going to be focusing today between 80 and hundred bucks. I think you could get something of good value from a company that's going to be around a little bit. Now I am going to put links in the description box to my favorite budget optics and some of the optics that we're going to be talking about today. But I want to first start off by talking about a company that I have reviewed quite a bit now over the past couple years and I've been really surprised at the overall value that you get out of this company. I mean it's really surprising. So the first company that we're going to talk about is Monstrum Tactical. Okay they make several different scopes and a lot of them fall between the price range that we're talking about today. For instance, I believe it's 99 bucks on Amazon. Again, I'll put a link. This will be the first link. We'll make this the first link in the description box. But for $99 on Amazon, you can get like a one to four or a one to six in black or in flat dark earth. It's got an illuminated reticle. They got really nice reticles. The glass is definitely nice and clear. It's obviously not loophole or Trigicon clear, but it's definitely clear enough for you know, the general public and most people to have absolutely no problem with unless you're gonna be shooting a thousand yards long range and you need something that is, you know, absolutely flawless. But still, for 99 bucks, you get the you get the scope, you get the illuminated reticle, it's a one to four or a one to six, available in flat dark earth or black. It also comes with an offset mount, not just these, you know, two stand-up cheap mounts with the really cheap hardware. It actually comes with an offset mount that kind of holds the optic a little bit forward. Uh, it also comes with flip-up caps. I believe it comes with a kill flash. I mean, the amount that you actually get with this optic is incredible. When I got mine, when they sent me mine, open up the box, it had this little velvet case in it to keep it nice. Inside that, it was packed in plastic. And then you open it up and you've got all of your accessories and everything right there ready for you to go. So for a hundred bucks, you don't have to worry about spending any more money. And that's it. You got your kill flash, you got your caps, you know, you got your mount, everything for a hundred bucks. I mean, to me, that's where the value is at. Now I've tried their six to 24, their one to four, the one to six, and all of them have worked perfectly fine for me. I mean, they're great. They're, they're, they're great scopes for somebody who's on a tight budget. So the, the other thing that with Monstrum Tactical I wanted to mention is it's a company that's going to be around. They've, they've been around and they're going to be around. They have a name attached to them. And so you know that when it comes to their warranties, customer service, anything's back and so forth, uh, you're going to be able to get a hold of somebody. And that's kind of a, a big deal to me, especially if you're on a budget and every single dollar counts because I know exactly how that is, trust me. When every single dollar counts, you wanna make sure you're getting the best value. Now, another one that I had recommended to a lot of people, especially in the past, and this is from a company that's been around forever, is a UTG scope. There's a, an inexpensive UTG scope that I think comes in right now between 79 and 89, <coughs> excuse me, between 79 and 89 dollars. This also comes with mounts. It also has an illuminated reticle, but this one is a three to nine. So the three to nine basically is for your shooting from, let's say 100 yards out to, you know, 400 yards. I mean, I could shoot as far as I can see my target with it. But for those people that want to shoot comfortably and be able to see their target nice and clear, I would say that one to four is going to be pretty good for this three by nine, uh, three to nine scope. The eye relief is a little bit short, but the, uh, the glass is surprisingly clear. Uh, it's got an illuminated reticle. It has, um, uh, you know, a lot of great features in it that I think people would really enjoy. So it's a, it's a cool scope. I've done a review on it in the past. I had it for years. And over the years that I had it, I didn't have a problem with that one either. 
Now, try and keep in mind that within these two brands, both UTG and Monstrum Tactical, there are a host of different products that should be able to fill the needs that you're looking for and still give you the same value and the same customer service and the same warranty of companies that you know are still gonna be around a few years later. So with these two companies, you can get red dots, you can get holographic sites, you can get again, one to fours, one to sixes, three to nines, six to 24s. I mean, all sorts of stuff, different colors, variables, mounts, scopes. I, they have pretty much everything that's gonna fall within the price point that we were talking about in this video. And one thing I wanna point out is don't listen to the optic snobs, okay? There's a lot of optic snobs out there that say they have to spend two or three times the amount of your rifle in order to you know, have a scope. And that's just not the case anymore. I mean, technology has gone a long way. Uh, the technology that provides good glass and coatings has gotten a lot less expensive. I mean, it's kind of like buying a DVD player. They used to be hundreds of dollars. Now I can go to Walmart and get one for 20 bucks. That's just as good as the one that cost hundreds of dollars years ago. Uh, so the technology has allowed these things to be made a lot better than they used to be. And so you could still find companies out there that are selling stuff that you guys can afford. You know, just don't listen to the optic snobs out there that try and push you towards stuff. Uh, for instance, this is uh, an Elkan Spectre 039. This costs thousands of dollars. A lot of people cannot afford this, and I completely understand that. And I would never push anybody towards this that simply couldn't afford it. I mean, don't max out your credit card if, if you can't. I mean, it's just absolutely not worth it. I mean, if you have the money, yeah. I mean, this was sent to me by Optics Planet, uh, and Optics Planet sent this out to the channel for testing, and I have never been more impressed with the scope until I tried this thing out. It is incredible the amount of features that it has, the clarity of the glass, I mean, it's a killer scope for sure. But again, it's outside of most people's price range. And so I'm not gonna force that on you and don't let other people force things on you either. If you have a higher budget, you have a better job, you have less kids than I do, then go with the stuff that you can afford. That's just the way of life, that's how it goes. Make sure that your kids can eat first and then you can get your optics and stuff like that. So anyway, guys, I hope this helps you. I hope this answers a lot of questions that I've been getting in those emails. For those people that say I only have a hundred bucks, what can I get? Oh, well, this is what you can get for a hundred bucks. And this is at least what I recommend. Other people might recommend other things, but uh, these are the two that have worked for me over the years. Anyway, thank you all very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please like, subscribe, make sure you check that link below. So uh, uh, become a member of the Firearms Policy Coalition. They are huge supporters of the channel. So I want to thank them very much for that. Have a great day.